So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna make a quick video today. We're gonna get just right into it. We're diving in. That's right, we're gonna help you today. We are gonna make some suggestions and give you ideas on ways to find money. Not make more money, not do a side hustle, not get a part-time job, not even sell anything. These are all separate conversations. We're talking about finding money ways for you to make money off of the money that you already have, right? It's doable, doable for a lot of people. And a lot of people are asking for suggestions because you all know that we are in a very, we're in a huge pickle right now and we are facing some hard times. And there's a lot of folks out there that are in predicaments that they never thought they would be in. And so now they're looking for solutions. So we're gonna jump to the rescue. Now listen, I know a lot of you guys and gals out there are very seasoned with everything that I'm gonna be talking about. Please comment down below to add more suggestions. I'm gonna be making more videos about this, things that I've done, things that we suggest, things that we've learned from our Nana and Papa and all of these things. A lot of these things Granny did. My Nana still does them to this day. So this is why those generations could retire at 50 years old. They had their house paid off in five years. Times were different, things were different, but the attitude is still the same. So let's find some money today. You wanna do it? It might be a little fun, could be a little bit painful here or there, who knows? But guys, it's survival mode. We're in survival mode, okay? Let's do it. I have the tiger. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is discussing ways to free up money. Please comment down below. I won't hit everything I can think of. I won't hit every subject. Those are to come, but we're just gonna stick to this today, okay? All right, I'm depending on you. Here we go. Freeing up money. Well, the first thing you have to do, and this is never fun, I get it, I get it, is to actually sit down and have an honest conversation with a piece of paper, a pen, pencil, and a calculator. Okay, you don't have to have fancy spreadsheets and all this crazy town. Don't overwhelm yourself. Get back to the basics. You're gonna find that th that is actually your theme. Getting back to the basics. Having a hardcore look at who you are, what you make and what you do. This is actually gonna end up being life changing if you take it serious enough. It changed my life, it changed our entire life. Had we not gone through this transformation when Gabriel, who is now in college, had we not gone through this hardcore transformation, which took quite a while and a lot of grit, then there's no way we could be doing or be in the place that we are today. Believe me when I tell you, okay? I won't go through my whole spiel and story about all of that, but if you've been here for a while, you already know. So you've got to start with yourself. What do you make? How much disposable income do you have? And where in the heck is all of your money going? It's probably, for a lot of people, it's probably going to places you don't even remember or know. It's true. So first things first, is there anything that you're doing right now that you can do cheaper? That is so broad brush, I get it, but everybody's different. So I'm gonna come up with something very generic, okay? For example, let's say you are a homebody and you do want to keep some form of television going. You have the internet, it could be internet, but do you have a package of some sort like, I don't know, a satellite TV? Can you get rid of it? Can you pause it for six months and just pay $5 a month as opposed to $150 a month? There's a lot of money right there, right? See how you do for three to six months without television. Perhaps maybe you can you can do that. You can pause things like that. You can pause services. You have to call and find out. On top of that, maybe you say, okay, well, I'm going to pause that to five bucks a month. But you know, through the winter, I'm going to focus on watching movies. Is there a service that you would prefer? Pick one. Maybe they're twelve, fifteen, seventeen dollars a month. I mean, there's Paramount Plus. There's Netflix. There's all this other stuff. I'm not I'm not telling you to do that. The goal here is to say, okay, I'm gonna pause this or get rid of this. Is there something that's less expensive that I could enjoy and save a lot of money on? Do you see what I'm saying? That is, that's the idea here. So that's finding money. You're still gonna be able to sit and watch TV and movies. You know, you're still gonna be able to relax in the evening and watch, you know, so, I don't know, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know, whatever you like, right? But you're not paying all that money and you're still, able to relax and to feel like you're being satisfied with that or being, you know, 
entertained with something, but you're not paying all that money. That is an example of what I'm talking about. So can you cut plans? Can you change plans? Can you rid services? I know that's happening all across the board, but look across the board and see what you're doing. How much money are you making? Where is it going? And how are you spending your time? If you don't want, if you're paying $160 a month for Dish TV, for example, that's just one thing, okay? But you're only watching maybe two or three hours of television per week. Is it really worth that? See what I'm saying? That's the, that's, that's how we're, that's what we're talking about here. Okay, so cable TV, satellite TV. What about your cell phones? Do you need all this stuff? Are you paying for somebody that should be paying for their own phone now? I mean, what are you doing? Now, on top of that, is there a way for you to change how you're paying for it? Now, let me tell you here what I'm talking about here. I don't believe in credit cards. I, I really think that a credit card, if you have one, should be for an emergency purpose only, major emergency purpose. At zero balance, whatever you've got, okay? I get that. Um, I, I don't believe in credit cards. I think they're like the devil to me, okay? They really are because they can get you in so much trouble. It's a lot of self-discipline now we're talking about. My husband found money. My husband found $40 a month. God love his heart. I love that man. Let me tell you how he did it. So we called Verizon, that's who our phone service is through, and we were trying to figure out ways to lessen it. Do we, what about, is there another way that we can get another a discount? What, what can we do here? Is there any, you might get, you know, hey, we didn't know if we could. We just called to find out. He already has a military discount, et cetera, et cetera. So they said, well, here's the deal. Do you have X credit card? And he was like, no, we don't do credit cards. And they were like, well, I get that. But here, it is true. You are already paying a monthly bill. You're already paying a monthly Verizon bill. If you put, get this credit card, see, this is, this is a sham wow. See, this is how they get people. So you have to be smart. Well, if you put your service onto this credit card, it actually brings your bill down $40 a month. So that's what we did. We don't use that credit card. I don't even have the credit card. It's put away. We don't need to use the credit card. So instead of paying X amount of dollars every month, Patera is writing, paying the bill. James calls and pays the bill the day that it goes to the credit card and he pays it completely off every single month because we were already doing that. But the beauty, the wonderful part of that is, is that he's actually saving $40 a month. So you have to make sure you keep yours. I love that. I love it. Sheriff's Department. I love it. Love it. Um, he found money. So we just, we're making, an, we're, we are making back $40 a month. It has to be paid on X, X day. You don't skip the payment. You keep yourself disciplined and we say 40 bucks. This is one thing that you can do. So anything that you're doing that you, you already know that you're going to keep, is there a way for you to bundle it, to get a discount, to cut the price, whatever, you have to start there. What are you making? Where is it going? How are you spending your time? And what are your priorities? And if keeping certain services is a priority, is there a way for you to make it cheaper? But make sure you're making those payments every single month, every single month. Don't let, don't let that sit on a credit card. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Can you save on gas? Now, I know gas has come down in price a little bit. We've watched it go up and down and all around the river. But here's the thing. Anytime you can consolidate, that's what I'm doing right now. We are consolidating errands today in time. Had to come this direction. Gabriel had to take his test. I have to go by here, blah, blah, blah. So I'm making every moment count. I'm filming a video with you. He's taking his test. We're going to go down here to the store. I'm going to go over here and run this errand. We've done all of these things together. Can you carpool? That may be something that you have to do also. Any way that you can save money on gas, every dime counts. Consolidate your errands. Instead of going out today to run one errand, can it wait till tomorrow when you have to go to work? Can it wait till Sunday when you can go, when you go to church or whatever and you go by and see your Nana or whatever you do? Then can you go run that errand? Try to consolidate all of those things. You already know that eating out now is the devil. There's another devil for you. 
Uh, I love to eat out at restaurants. That to me is a true treat. Uh, we do from time to time. I'm not going to tell you we don't because I, I cook a lot, but I do like to, you know, it's nice to have a night off and even if it's just go grab a pizza or have a taco, right? It gives mom a break and you can consolidate a lot of different errands also with going out to eat, but it's so expensive. We went last night to go eat at a local Mexican restaurant. It's not super fancy. The food is really good, but it's not super expensive, right? I mean, you know, you think I'm going to get a combination. I'm going to get a taco and a burrito, rice and beans, you know, by the time all four of us, me, my husband, my two kids at home, we got three waters and a Coke. We did not get an appetizer. We didn't get queso. We didn't get a dessert. By the time we got basic combinations, didn't even get queso, man. <laughs> But then we paid for the bill and then we tipped and we love to tip good because these the, these ladies take good care of us. It was 80 bucks, y'all. I mean, we enjoyed it. It was good family time. The food was great. But let's be honest, 80 bucks for tacos and burritos is so crazy. So you have to pick and choose better. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go out to eat, have a break, birthday dinner, graduation dinner, whatever. Yes, of course, but they need to become more like a treat than not. Another way to save a lot of money is stop buying drinks out. Pack you a thermos like me, take you some water or whatever you prefer. What You know, here's the thing. A lot of things, times we talk about inflation. You know, we talk about the inflation. We know that I've done a video recently talking about inflation is actually around 63% on your food. That's what I came up with. That's just a loose number, but it's way up there. You know, you might buy certain things from the store and they might be more expensive than they were two years ago. We know that all of them are, but it's probably still gonna be less expensive than you hitting a vending machine or as you're getting gas, you run in and get this or that or the other. Take snacks with you, granola bar, apple, banana, grab a biscuit that you made this morning. Little things like that are gonna keep you from blowing money on eating out and snacks especially if you have kids and if you have kids that are on the go or anything like that, that type of spending guys eats parents alive. So stop. I mean, just stop. I know that's not easy, but that is the answer. You just got to stop. Okay. Lowering utilities. Can you lower your, can, 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 instead of that heat being on like 71, can you click it down to 68? My heat is on 65. That's right. My heat is on 65. I have regular heat. I have a on-grid home. You know that. I have heat, air and heat. Love it. Oh, I love my air condition. <laughs> Women my age, <laughs> we got to have that air condition. Woo! But we also run on wood heat, but we try to balance it. I'm going to let the heat click on at 65. I'm trying to not run my wood heat unless I have to. Uh, or unless I really want to. So we try to find the balance of best of both worlds. I don't run my air condition uh, super low and I don't run my heat super high. Where is that number? Can you change it two degrees? That's my challenge for you right now. Can you change it just two degrees? Can you do it? Because here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put a beanie on. You're gonna be so much warmer. You're gonna put on really nice socks. You're gonna be so much warmer. Hey, I know something you can get for yourself or somebody close to you for Christmas. Get a heated blanket. I'm really serious. At night, we turn our heat on 65. When we know that it's, you know, it's that balance of it's not cold enough to, to run the wood heat, but we don't want to freeze, you know, but we want to be somewhat comfortable. Turn my heat down to 65. I turn my little heated blanket on to about medium, low to medium. Half the time in the middle of the night, I'm waking up turning it off, but it takes the edge off. An extra jacket, an extra sweater, a, a little beanie on your head. Keep those big old ears like mine. Warm, feet warm. Turn off your lights. That's right. I'm going to be just like your granddaddy right now. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Did they chase you around the house and you didn't turn the lights off? So true. Do, does everything have to be plugged in? You know, no, no. That television you're not watching doesn't need to be plugged in. That coffee maker, does it have to be plugged in 24-7? No. Do you actually look at that little clock on it? I don't. Unplug your microwave. Un There's so many things. Just unplug them. Plug them in when you need them. Unplug them when you don't. Boom, shaka laka. Okay. Talked about my heated blanket. I I'm obsessed with heated blankets. I, I love them. 
Um, unplug things, turn off lights, lower your thermostat, keep the, your dryer and your vents, all of those things. Your, change those things out. Don't let them get clogged and bogged down. That was James's little addition. Besides his 40, he's so proud of his $40, y'all. He is, he is, he did good. He called, he got the information, he was asking questions, he found a solution. My man found a solution today. So here's the deal. On supplies, whether it is soap, shampoo, hairspray, lotion, body items, cleaning supplies, look around at all the things that you use on a daily or weekly basis. Now, I'm not telling you to lessen things to the point where you're uncomfortable or it makes you sick. I'm not telling you anything with about your medications, but I am saying, do you have to wash your hair every day? You know, I don't. <laughs> you guess that, right? You know, are there ways you're going to find that if you just back off just a little bit or not do this every single day, depending upon what it is, okay? Now, you got to take care of yourself. I'm not saying for you not to, to wash your hands and brush your teeth and all that, but I'm saying, do you have to take the strip all the way from the front, all the way across the... The, the toothbrush and down the other side, what if you just pulled it back just a little bit? You're saving your toothpaste over time. You're training yourself to pull back, consolidate, and not be wasteful. This can be applied to anything and everything that you're doing, okay? Meal stretch as much as possible. Now, we talked about not eating out, cooking more from scratch at home. That's a whole huge subject on its own, but I will tell you that if you can meal stretch, you're going to be saving a lot of money. I know a lot of you already do that. We've talked about that in numerous videos, but meal stretching is major. Take things from one meal and put it and make another meal out of it. That is an art form that your grandparents completely, man, they were connoisseurs. I mean, they knew how to stretch everything. Don't let anything go to waste. I've got a video coming up on a treat and it's going to involve an apple and the reason I did this is because I had a little old lonely apple you know how they've been sitting there for a little bit longer than you want them to they're still useful and they're still good you can still eat them but you know they start to kind of shrivel up just a little bit I was like you know what we're gonna make a recipe with this we are not gonna waste that one lonely apple do you see what I'm talking about I've got a video coming up on that so I won't I don't want to spoil it but make every meal, everything stretch and count. Like I said, if, if all else fails, even if you have chickens, believe me, that's saving money too. Okay. Now here's the thing. Look for coupons. James wanted me to tell you, look for coupons. Don't, you know, only do things that have coupons. So if you want to have a break from eating out tonight, even though I am suggesting fast food, well, you know, here's the thing. Treats are good. Treats are a good thing, but do you have to go to a fancy restaurant every single time? Maybe just a simple night out going to look at Christmas lights, and I, I'm going to suggest it. I'm going to say it. What if you got an Arby sandwich, two for one with a coupon? Heck of a lot cheaper than going to the Mexican restaurant. Make it count. Make it count. Remember, this is a life-changing moment for you. Um, here is something else that I want to talk about. Two things. James wanted me to say this to you because last night, if you pay with a card at a lot of different places now, have you noticed you get charged anywhere from three to 6%. I know it's ridiculous. So as James suggested, he said, tell them to pay cash, tell them to try their best. If they're going to go out to eat or all that to understand, there's probably a service charge now if they use their debit card or whatever, and they're going to get charged extra fees. So if they can pay cash, that's going to put money back in their pocket too. It's money that sh you should never be spending. I agree with you. I know you're going to go on this, but I'm just saying a lot of people now, I don't even think they think about it. Think about it, if you went out every single day and was doing something, you got charged on, on top of everything and tip or whatever, you paid an extra 3% on top. Did you get a 3% raise this year? Don't answer that. Okay, so here's the last thing that I'm going to say. We talked about coupons, paying cash. Um, this is not my level of expertise. I'm not giving you financial advice as far as what you should do in terms of your banking account or your credit cards. But I know back way back in the day before we, we were fighting to get out of credit card debt and uh, we were fighting you know, to um, not have student loans. We paid everything off, all that. But up to that point, we actually took our credit cards and we transferred the balance to a new credit card, which was at a lesser rate and it paused 
the um, interest for six months. Sometimes they would even pause you having to make a payment. You didn't have to make it. It's sort of like frozen. I don't know what credit cards and different things are offering now. I haven't done that in so long. I don't even know if that is even a thing anymore, but it is something that I want to suggest because if you have a credit card, for example, and it has X amount of dollars on it, and now you find out that your interest rate is 29% or 26%, all these crazy high interest rates, but if you can transfer it over to another card that will allow you to do it, they may it may help you by lowering your interest rate substantially. Let me tell you this, and I'm gonna go. This video's gotten a little long. I can remember, oh man, I, this has been 25 years ago. I can remember paying on a credit card that James had. Um, and you know, at that time, we did good just to make the minimum payment, okay? Um, and I believe the minimum payment was like $35 a month. So we could afford that, okay? We, we could do that much, right? Well, here's the problem with that. I figured out, I got a little smart, I was young. I got smart and figured out, okay, I'm paying $35 a month on this credit card. We're not, we're not using this credit card, we're trying to start paying it off, but all I can afford is a $35. Well, guess what? $33 of the $35 that I was sending was only paying on the interest. It wasn't even paying anything towards or on the principal. So I wasn't paying off this credit card hardly at all. That's a hard lesson for a lot of folks and sometimes what we have to walk through. So I figured out that I had to attack it harder. Don't use it and try to at least try to double that payment if I can to start bringing it down. So look at what your balances are. Look at how much your interest is. Look at how much you're actually paying. See if you can do a transfer. That's up to you. I'm not, I don't know who, where, when, where, or how, or that's even you know feasible for most people anymore, but it is an idea. You have to do your homework. Can you pull back on something? Can you cancel something? Are you actually spending time doing these things? Can you, you know, lessen it down at least for a time period? Can you switch something over? This applies to everything that you're doing right now. Everything, what you're eating, what you're wearing, where you're going, your services. Do you really have to have your hair professionally done? Maybe that's your treat, but is it something that you can do without too? The goal is to find your money once again. Guys, I appreciate you being here. This is a lot of conversation. I realize that. And uh, I want you to comment down below for more ideas very similar to some of the things that we were talking about. Maybe ideas for even more videos for us to talk about these things. We're trying to help each other. All right, guys, I'm gonna break. I appreciate you. See, I'm, I'm gonna sip on my well water. Huh? It's free. I love it, right? I love it. It's free, free. Like, subscribe, and share. Comment down below. Appreciate you being here. Guys, just get in there and dig. Think about how would your grandmother be attacking all of these things right now? That alone should answer most of your questions. You don't need me. Granny already taught you. All right, guys, God love you. We'll see you on the next video. Godspeed.